Meanwhile, she ran on a platform to abolish ICE and aims to tax the wealthy more than 70 percent uh, after they make $10 million. So what do the voters in, Ale- uh, in Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's district think about her so-called radical or, dare I say, different proposals? Our next guest went to find out. She believes that we should tax, tax the rich 70 percent. Do you agree with that? I am all for it. Absolutely. Yeah. They make so much money. Yeah. Tax them. Yeah. Too low. Too low. So yeah. how, how, what would you suggest? 90 percent. She also says that ICE has become a big problem and we yeah. should get rid of ICE. Yes. Do you support that? I, I do. I don't know about defunding it. Maybe major changes, radical changes. All right. Uh, that's not all they had to say. Fox News contributor, CampusReform.org editor-in-chief, Lawrence Jones here. Lawrence, yeah. you went out to, to uh, New York City to yeah. find out how people feel about her new proposals. Yeah, I went straight to her district, and the people believe in her. Uh, they believe in wealth redistribution. Uh, people work very hard in this country. I grew up poor, and my mother and father always said, you're working hard so you can be in a different tax bracket. Now they believe in when you work hard, you can take that money and give it to the poor. Uh, we're a generous country. Country, and this socialism that she's advocating for that we often see on the college campuses and campus reform, she is now pushing. Her district supports it. People should be afraid. The mindset of billionaires is a failure to society because yeah. no one should have that much money. Right. And that if you did get a lot of money, perhaps you stole it or got it illegally That's or exactly you don't deserve right. it. Yeah. And, and you're guilty of it and you need to be prosecuted and we need to take your money and give it to other people. I don't know what's scarier, her policies or the fact that so many people agree with it. A lot of people believe her and then we go longer in the conversation and the people said uh, and you'll see in this package that it's more important to be morally right than factually right take a look so she said that it's more important to be morally right than factually correct right do you agree with that statement <laughs> um overall yes that's a slippery slope it's a little it's a little difficult to uh to justify that in every situation. It's important to be morally right. If we can get our facts straight, they're great, but we make mistakes. Okay, I don't, <laughs> don't even know worry. what I don't even know what that last guy yeah. said. Yeah, don't worry about the facts. Just be morally right. And this is that emotion generation. Again, a lot of conservatives and Republicans laughed at Arcasio Cortez. I don't think this is a laughing matter. She is winning when it comes to drawing more people in. I think we should be concerned, especially for the younger generation, which I cover all the time. They, they, she may not win uh, the next two presidential elections, but there is a, a swing to socialism, and she's getting a lot of support. We should take her seriously. And I asked you before you sat down here, when you would, when you go out on the street, you have to talk to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was the prevailing sentiment. She not has one a lot person of support. disagreed with her. Not, not one. Not one. She is representing her district. I would take her very seriously. They support this woman because they believe that she's fighting for them. She's connected yeah. uh, nationally. She's right. connected locally. That's exactly right. Remember the last re- representative that was there for 20 years? They didn't see him in their district. Joe Crowley, I think his name was. He was an incumbent, a leader uh, in the House. Uh, they don't like uh, that they don't see the representative. Now that she shows up, they, she's one of them, they feel this connection with her, and they're going to bag her 100%, which is, means that we got to expose every single thing that she stands for and the radical ideology that will affect poor people and the rich. Challenge it. You got to challenge it. You got to challenge it on the college campuses as well. You can no longer ignore socialism. They are getting steam now. All right. Uh, Lawrence Jones, thanks so much. Thanks, brother. And keep in mind, she has not opened up a local office yet. She has <laughs> right. not gotten around to that. <laughs> open got open 